<laughs> hmm, nothing about Mr. Pages though. Alright. That's going to. Hmm, it's it's weird you can still continually romance. I wonder what happens when he explicitly told you not to. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, you did uh, manage to coax it into a sort of um... <laughs> letter writing. <laughs> there, there, we'll write about it and then it'll be worth it or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I could collect some <laughs> manifesto material. <laughs> sure. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Mind you in anything. Find a reach in the basement, taking inventory of our mushrooms. Oh, good oh, all of my friend. I hope you've not grown too sick of mushrooms. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose we cannot trust the masters. What would you do about it? How would we manage if that were true? I would do just what I am doing. I don't put any trust in them. I just don't mean to rile them. But there is only one thing you can do. Keep the people close to you alive. That's all any of us can hope for. Hmm, something has been a Horatius mind. Who is your family? What is your home? When you say we, who is included? The ministry! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a rhetorical question, right? <laughs> It'll be clear in the way you live whether or not you think on it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Finally. The kitchen needs cleaning out. I'll be off. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, friendship. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That's um. That's an action we. That's a strategy, I suppose, for a manifesto. I've seen worse. <laughs> yes, there. I'm sure there's worse. <laughs> <laughs> much, much worse. Oh, oh last day. So we'll send up confessions. Masters of the bazaar prohibit <laughs> burning of more than six candles at once. Kendall shortage ongoing. Okay, Kendall, you're, you're Kendall, still Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, let's see. <laughs> the neighborhood <road>. watch. <laughs> the local folk. Is that what's happening? Well, it's what you want to happen. It's a manifesto. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, alright. Alright, a meeting. Ha! Oh, I am on official business. <laughs> yeah. Ring a ring <laughs> Hey, I want to go see a big bat. Are you ready to meet Mr. Pages? Hmm. <laughs> Stealing is the idea to set up shop. Hmm. It's a very specific, specific suggestion. Perhaps he knows more about current whereabouts than he is saying. Give no further indication. Makes a resolute hump and is of no concern of his, wherever she is. 
He wonders whether that might be. Mm. Mm. Yeah, become the tentacle entrepreneur. You could yeah. do it. Maybe. <laughs> stab your stab your business partner in the back. <laughs> Take control. <laughs> Go rich. Uh. Mr. Pages is not known for a what? Hmm. I did not catch that. <laughs> for an excess of patience. I mean none of the masters are, are they? I, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh, wow. I'm informated about a familiar visitation. I hope it will not be like that ghastly novel where the miser is <laughs> inflicted with spirits much more discromonious than the last. <laughs> ah, the intentical ones. I had not thought to see you again. The past resurfaces in the most unexpectual ways. I hope the stitchments of past and present will not cause undue rupture. Uh, I don't think he cares about flights. <laughs> <coughs> well, that could be romances happening. Oh, tentacle sure. romance. <laughs> this is not a chicken. <laughs> he does bring a tentacle proposal of his own. I am most curieged to learn what he wishes. No rubbery men brought us such a petition in the last city. They lurked in the shadows and made disagreeable warbling noises. They offered no trade, so we did not consider it them. Ooh. Ooh. Cacophony is loud, but the sense is clear. But she can request not an introduction, but a license. Ooh. A magisterial cacophony. I only wish I could understand it. <laughs> Oozing syllables. Commerce. A license to trade. A shop. A shop of his own to trade from. The warbling seizes. Parachikan gives you an expectant look. You must interpolate for me. <laughs> Why don't you just make a translation? <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> Tend to go, guy. One shop. Give permit. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh, doo -doo. It's insistent that he requires a place of business from which to engage in the chief activity of London. That is commerce. Pages looks at me, awaiting elucidation. <coughs> oh, oh <there> wow! <laughs> what heck of a backstab here. <laughs> but Ajiga wishes to open a shop. The masters outlaw charity, you know. Despite the evident excitables around the proposalment, I can see many flaws, obstacles, and errors. Commerce grows slowly, the economy not yet stabilized. To allow competition into such a fragile economy would prove disastrous. It is with a full heart I must decline. Seems prudent that a more managed rapprochement between robbery and Londoner must begin. And with you here already as an embassy, I believe the process. Embassy. <laughs> I shall send clerks to bedevil you shortly. Mm, when you say bedevil, <laughs> <laughs> a precious day to you all. The reemergence is not a small matter. We will prevail. We will reach IPO. <laughs> we will go back home now. I think he's just trying to get some investors. <laughs> 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 Couldn't even get his business license. 
All right, here we go. Our, our wow. manifesto. <laughs> Born from interviewing one Horatio chap. <laughs> <laughs> Extensive research. <laughs> this is what the people want. <laughs> <laughs> Says one person. <laughs> Good I enough. I haven't left house in a long time. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Risk. Yep, ungulate. Mm -hmm. Okay, friend, learn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you and I chanced to lodge in the same house. It was a kindness of fate, capital F. Have you heard the proposals to drill some new wells? Oh shit, no, mm. no wells! <laughs> Fresh water! Mm. <laughs> More fresh water than the, come out of the stolen river. But the first machine they put to it oh. is struck on something in the ground red as a side of beef. And the ground screamed, ah ha 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 ha. I'd be curious to see what's there, but the ministry has blocked all the roads around the spot. Though there was uh, a trickle of blood that was running down the street and two or three enterprising butchers gathering it in cups to oh make it the pudding. Pudding oh, makes you hungry, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> makes you peckish, even. <laughs> I have something for you. A plan of defiance against the ministries and the masters. <laughs> <laughs> we will <laughs> try to keep each other alive. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Are you going to tell me where to take it? I cannot do that. I need to meet the gentleman oh. on the other side of oh, the mirror. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> In Parabola. I have a way to get there. Even out the out the Angulin, somehow. There's some you got some honey with you? If I'm go. supplied. You, mm. We need some dope. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? <laughs> A wee drop of prisoner's honey takes you into the place of dreams. Most times, there's name more than escape. And at the worst, you might meet with a nightmare. But you can meet people there too, if you know where you mean to look. It's the way I have to speak with my publisher when the need comes. I see. Very normal. Would you be so good as to bring me a few bits and bobs? Holds out a torn bit of paper on which is scribbled down the names of various ingredients. Some are common enough things on the surface, but they're not all so easy to find here. Others are distinctly peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recognize the half of this. Take the list with you to show. Just a lot of those, if you would. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got Who's one penny. <laughs> I regret. I don't believe I can afford it. Might be you could get a loan from Horatia. Um. um <laughs> I just paid it off. <laughs> or do a spot of work. I cannot go fetch it myself. Uh, are you are you sure? <laughs> yes, I I really do. We need to step into the mirror. <laughs> are you sure this is wise? No, nah. but I'm sure it's needed. Uh, it's also um, <laughs> dope. <laughs> <laughs> Harjit wouldn't let me bring you contraband while you're in the ungulate. Not that Harjit needs to know. Everybody, with tiny wee balls. You can all watch every movement. You only need to hand them over. Boyne, I can see you're not moving on the meta. I need to get back inside. The guard may come around any moment. 
的，对的。<笑> What am I wearing? Oh, I'm wearing this. Ah,、uh, she won't mind. <laughs> You're rich. Mind lending me some money? <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> It's for a business proposal. <laughs> Tentacles are involved. Bingo bong, bongo bong. Uh oh! It is the end of confessions. Wow. Uh oh. Um. Bong bong. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, who are you? I'm Rachel Landau. I believe you know Archibald Reed, the doctor. Well enough to know he didn't kill anyone. I'm not certain of that, and my brother was deaf.、Uh, definitely dead. Yeah, certainly, certainly dead. You were quick to make accusations. I've come to ask your help, and maybe to free your friend as well. So I'd best not let myself be drawn. You have a way of freeing Archie. I think David might not be. That、uh -oh. is, I think he may not be dead anymore. I keep having dreams that David is awake <laughs> in his coffin. <laughs> I can barely close my eyes without thinking of it. Ah,、uh, this is where Londoners、uh, realize they're immortal. Somebody. Ah,、uh, well, uh, from like physical injuries, maybe. If I don't dig him up and make sure, I'll never have any peace. So you've come to us to help dig up your brother's coffin. Y yes. I have a shovel in the basement, mostly for coal,、wow. but it will do. She's、uh, pretty receptive to this idea. <laughs> yeah, everybody here is like, yeah, let's go dig up the guy. <laughs> Where is Phoebe? At home, in bed. She's not up to much lately. She sobs and asks what will become of us and counts her rosary beads. Anyone would think it was her brother that died. You're Archie's friends, and you want his name cleared. So you have reason to try to find David alive, even if I mean nothing to you. Yeah,、uh, I, I'm also in need of money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she'll pay you. <laughs> You're doing this for French、uh, or、uh, or and, you know, and, and, <laughs> If I can get a good look at the corpse, I'll have an easier time than the rest of the thing. Uh, uh, there's a trial incoming. I'll help you. Thanks, Noir. Now let's go dig up my brother. Oof. Here. This is a background. <laughs> there's only a fresh amount of earth. You sure this is the one? It's not marked. I left the stones. <laughs> Stand back and watch while they dig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, let's dig. <laughs> Richard takes their own turn with the shovel, but it, blah 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 is grim, slow work. When we've struck the bottom of last, the grit climbs into the grave. Oh, well, it's been a few days. I. Grit falls up from below. David is still deceased. You're sure? Ingenious way. What do you mean, ingenious? <laughs> <coughs> you know what? I'll do it myself. <clears throat> <laughs> He wants something done right. <laughs> Mind if I come down? Oh. oh. <laughs> This corpse is definitely a corpse. Yes. Mirror's check passed. <laughs> I am not sure what I expected to feel in its presence. Not this. Well, evidence. The lips are green tinged. The muscles of the face contorted. The fingers twisted. There is no sense of an intelligence departed or a spirit gone. It does not give the offensive sense that someone who should be here is not. It does not feel like one's arrived too late. 
<laughs> no. The more I look, the more I'm sure this thing has never been alive at all. I do not smell decay, but there is a pale cloying scent like lilies grown in murk. The sense grows on me that if I touch him again, his eyes will open and that it will not be David Landau looking at me. Mm. <laughs> Just where the hairline meets the brow is a line of four tiny sigils. I can barely make them out, even with the light. From above, Rachel calls to me in concern. I touch a sigil with the tip of my finger and flinch back. The touch of it stings. I've smeared it a little, I think. Does the corpse face look different now than it did? Noir! If you're hoping to find David alive down there, he isn't. Yeah, uh... <laughs> this correspondence. <laughs> Would you have written correspondence on your brother's forehead? <laughs> Perhaps a custom of your own? <laughs> I did not, and I don't think the women of the Chevra Gadisha would have. I know. Was it Hebrew? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it was uh, something else entirely. Maybe it was a smudge of grave dirt that looked like writing. <laughs> grave dirt that stings. <laughs> oh, <Yes>. Milton! <laughs> you should get it checked out. <laughs> My friend Milton said once that the laws of life and death down here are not as they were above. And so I thought, I don't know. Whatever he implied, your brother isn't returning. It's most likely a mistake. I believe Mr. Mirrors is to blame for sending dreams. But it was weird, I swear. We might not have found a live David in the grave, but I'm still not sure at all that we found his corpse. If it isn't him, then we probably don't want to meddle with whatever it is. One thing I've learned at the Ministry, there mm. are things down here that resemble people but are not people. But it's suspicious. <laughs> Not even counting the devils. We can go. Oh, I'm sorry. It was foolish of me to think there could be anything in it. Grizz and Noir should see you back home safe. You don't need to do that. But I'd be grateful for the company. You've had a shock. Hmm. Phoebe! Phoebe, we have guests! We aren't guests. Don't worry about refreshments. I had you digging up graves. The least I can do is offer a pot of tea. And some mushroom stew. <laughs> Phoebe! Ah, probably asleep, the baggage. Oh! <gasps> Gasp! Hello, I let myself in. You were dead. I, I was. And now you aren't. No. Not for the past couple of hours. <laughs> it took a little time to return. And then you weren't here. Uh, poke, poke. <laughs> How is this possible? Poke, poke. I was truly dead, and I have returned. Yeah, I'm playing a game of chess with uh, the Reaper. <laughs> the paths of life and death are not as they are on the surface. That is the only explanation I can find. The question of the grave remains alarming. What was in there with correspondence? There was a corpse there, and you don't much resemble it. I didn't wake in my grave. I came to myself standing in the midst of London. At one moment I was crossing the last river and then the boatman put me back ashore. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
So the last question. river? There was a boat full of the dead. And the boatman carrying us all to the far shore. I found myself there after the agonies of poisoning had ceased. I don't believe I have the pleasure of your acquaintance, Miss... Myth. I'm a clerk at the Ministry of Accounting and Recounting. I was helping Miss Landau. We were trying to dig up your corpse. <laughs> I dreamed you were alive. That you were trapped in there. I knew it might only be grief, but I dreamed it again and again so vividly. We should make a list of what to do. I will alert the Ministry that death appears not to be going as usual. Wow, <laughs> some news. <laughs> and someone needs to inform <coughs> Arjit that Mr. Landau is not dead and therefore Archie is not well, a murderer. He did die though. <laughs> it's all <I'm> trying <laughs> to kill him. <laughs> someone yeah. did murder me. Yeah. I was poisoned. It was excruciating. He really was completely dead. But he isn't dead now, so therefore that is not a murder. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever did it might try it again. Yeah, it was really painful, okay? <laughs> and I can't be sure it wouldn't work. I might not toss it into the plant fast enough. <laughs> Believe me, I still very much want to know who the culprit was. I rather hope you might know who did it. <laughs> Lighten the mood. <laughs> Tell a joke. <laughs> hmm, David. Hmm. I hardly ate anything that day. Only the medicine that Archie brought me. I wasn't feeling well from the beginning, so I stayed in my room to read. There was quite a parade of visitors in the parlor I collect. A parade? I had Ivy Fitzclaret here working on a fitting. She is hardly a visitor and we were not in the parlor for the most part. Though she may have passed through. Yeah, who, who's here? <laughs> So Miss Fitz Claret was here on the last day. And Archie visited, we know that, as you blame him for the poisoning. Rachel and Phoebe were at home. And I believe I heard Milton's <laughs> sticky tones through three sets of doors. Milton did pay a morning call. It was not long, and I was preoccupied with Ivy. Milton? About time you introduce Milton. A yellow-eyed devil who has been paying his undesirable addresses to my sister. He is not. He offers me artistic insight. And did he help you with your writing that day? No, but only because I was otherwise occupied. I held a brief conversation with him and then excused myself. He spoke with Phoebe for a few minutes, and then departed again, I believe. Mm, what did you eat? <laughs> Audrey? Apart from the medicine? <laughs> and you ate nothing, David? No, only Archie's medicine, so sticking to that. No drinks? No tea with a bitter flavor and a gritty texture at the bottom of the cup? I would certainly have noticed. I thought as much. One always has a sense of poisoning victims being especially unobservant. Alright, was Archie acting weird? And when Archie was with you, he didn't do anything strange? Nothing to make you think he had a sinister intention? No, his bedside manner was much the usual. He had moments of melancholy. He often spoke of being homesick. But otherwise, he only showed a concern to see that I was doing better. Hmm. No? Although the flavor of the medicine that day was a trifle different. More like other ordinary medicines I'd had before. 
He said it was a change in the ingredients available. And that he'd had to compound his own down here. That's uh, a little troubling now I've thought of it. More than a little. I'm sure it's only a coincidence, and the meaning was just what Archie said it was. Ah, nothing else to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We should go home and leave you to your conversation. I imagine there's a great deal to say at such a reunion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you let Constable Sink know that the murder is no longer a murder? Well... <laughs> I wouldn't want the matter to be dropped. It would be the most grotesque miscarriage of justice to hang a man for murder when he did no such thing and his victim is still walking around London. I mean, he might he might just come back from me, hun. <laughs> I, I, I will tell Constable Sink, gracious. When you came to us for help, you said it would help us free Archie. It's true, I did. Then pray honor that commitment. That was a rash promise. It seemed reasonable, and I needed help. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea at a time. <laughs> Can you see any of our cousins agreeing to come down and take a turn with the shovel? No, and especially not the Landau cousins. Such a betrayal of tradition. But thank you, and give my thanks to Miss Smith as well. You were truly a great assistance in a terrible time. If it was Archie who gave the fatal dose, then something will have to be done. But of course we'll say it wasn't murder. You may say it wasn't. <coughs> well. Hmm. Mm. Thus ends the... These enough confessions. Alright. Rachel Landau has sent a note of thanks. She sends instructions on how to visit her home, too. Lovely, lovely. The Landau's townhouse, a well-appointed townhouse suffused with a homely glow from its tall windows. Home of the Landau siblings. Wait a few days before paying a visit. There's no <laughs> rule for how soon a visit the seas <laughs> after they return to life. <laughs> Brand new sentence. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need to recover. Never mind. At least Archie will be home soon. Archie does not return. Mm. This place remains empty. Marisha cooks him a portion, but he never comes to eat it. After four days, Grizz tries to argue her out of doing it anymore, but she insists she can afford it, thanks to me. Yeah, because I pay my rent. <laughs> <laughs> What isn't hidden goes to hungry neighbors in the morning. Huh, feeding your neighbors. And she, Horatia, doesn't welcome interference in how she runs the house. Since Judgment Day, every season is freshly alien. <laughs> the season of confessions goes out, taking with it many helpful self seats. Yuli brings the. Yuli brings the first full horror of the knee. Oh, is it the lacquer again? People stop pretending when an animal speaks that it was <laughs> imagination. <laughs> dogs, is true, still say very little. This is what passes for tact among dogs. Oh, my cats! <laughs> cats have no such compunctions. On the rooftops, they trade in human secrets in their side glances, dare us to object. Hypocritical gossips that we are. Ah, there we go. <laughs> 14 days in Yule. Dun, 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 dun. It says I explained to Horatia and to Lady Griselda. By the terms of the law, a murder was still committed. <coughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Grizz may explode from rage. She considers the whole matter entirely irrational. Lady Griselda expects the law to march along with her own preferences. 
Perhaps it did so in the past. She has confronted me about the matter more than once. The trial will still be held just before Christmas. There is nothing I can do. There is nothing the Landau's can do either. Miss Landau did send a letter to the court to explain a brother's change of circumstance. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Have you tried um, <laughs> anything? <laughs> <laughs> what exactly did you do? I've spoken to everyone I could find. I woke an old judge from his bed in the middle of the night. <laughs> Shed <Shadowy. laughs> He did not take to it kindly. Not so ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. To be fair, that that was uh, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Thank you for trying. <laughs> it was all I could do. Archie will be tried. If we can account for his innocence, he may be freed. Well, he's innocent in the sense that the guy didn't die. <laughs> Oh, okay, if you find alive. evidence that someone else was involved, they may be added to the trial. Alright. If you find anything, if you have a good explanation for how it wasn't, Archie. <laughs> find a higher power. <laughs> <laughs> there actually are higher powers in this world. You'll be the first to know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, you're a fall guy. Oh. Mm, indeed. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Okay, okay. I'm always glad to visit Archie on the HMS Angulate with you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Been a while, but alright. <laughs> You know that there's someone I'm still looking for and his name is Lucian. Oh, Forget about him. <laughs> right. I can't abandon the promise I made. I find I must rely on you not to repeat my private business and not to make uh, unspeakable <laughs> use of it. It's on the senses though. <laughs> ah, it's this quieting offering that trust to anyone. I look for Lucian everywhere I go. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pity. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, tend to go ahead. <laughs> Art holds a tiny photograph, the sword that might be given to a mother or sweetheart when a man goes to war. The sitter has tremendous sideburns and moustaches Ooh. both luxuriant and curly. Definite brows, a broad forehead of the kind usually associated with intellect. Ah, lovely. Is this a Lucian? <laughs> <laughs> and a sensitivity around the eyes, suggesting someone at once dashing and prone to long consideration. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you recognize this photo? I, I don't recall it seeing anybody truthfully. like that. <laughs> yeah, it says truthfully, so uh, let's see. Your character may know things that you do not. Mm. Ah, ferret. It was a ferret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe under the hood, Mr. Pages is actually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him sometime. I don't remember where. I imagine I saw him in the sunlight, though. So it must have been before the fall. Hmm. If you remember anything more, or if you see him, please tell me. Time I continued my round. Give my regards to Mrs. Chapman, my friend. My very platonic friend. <laughs> it's unchanged! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what is there to know about him? It's his own purpose walking the streets, perhaps it's worth discovering how he spends his time. 